Registered Phenomena Code 220. Designation Stardust. Object Class Alpha Yellow. Hazard Types Radiation Hazard. Contact Hazard. Containment Protocols. All instances of RPC-220 are to be stored within an activated titanium hydride ingot in a high-value item container in Sector H of Site-002, along with a separate container holding RPC-220-1 inside a cushioned briefcase. RPC-220's container must be inspected on a bi-weekly basis for any signs of a leak to avoid a containment breach and possible contamination. During the testing, admitted personnel must wear the appropriate RPC-220 handling gear with the activated titanium hydride ingot to be discharged to extract RPC-220. The decomposed ingot may be recycled into a reversible containment vessel for future use. The chamber holding both RPC-220 and RPC-220-1 must be evacuated of all biological tissues during testing. Description RPC-220 is a 20.63 kilogram as of July 2018 mass of tritium hydrogen isotope with a muon replacing each one of the tritium atom's electrons. RPC-220-1 is a muon-catalyzed fusion apparatus used to test and or use RPC-220 as an energy source. As there are no known naturally occurring muon tritium sources, instances of RPC-220 suggests of an artificial production. Such a procedure requires a power of gigawatts and only has a 1% chance of creating one atom of RPC-220. Artificially creating the mass of RPC-220 is, with all intents and purposes, impossible. However, the muon that replaces one of the electrons in RPC-220 atoms does not decay into E-bar, New sub E or new sub mu within 2.1969811 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. Instead, the muons seem to permanently attach into the tritium isotope. Nonetheless, the tritium isotope will decay half its mass into helium 3 and muon in 1 point years. At this rate, all instances of RPC220 will decay by 20 or sooner, depending on the usage of RPC-220. Research on using instances of RPC-220 as a muon-catalyzed fusion, cold fusion, as an energy source has been approved by Global Director 04 in 1990. The result was a fusion reaction occurring at approximately 3 Kelvin with a power output of gigawatts. The helium-3 byproduct of the reaction shows no extranormal traits. Addendum 220-01 Recovery Log Instances of RPC-220 were discovered within a palladium hydride ingot inside an abandoned Soviet nuclear weapons storage bunker near in the Siberian permafrost. Along with RPC-220 the plans of harnessing RPC-220 as an energy source, along with the muon-catalyzed fusion apparatus, later designated as RPC-220-1, were also seized into authority custody. Addendum 220-02 Fusion Reactor Research and Development On the board invited engineering representatives from New Corp Industries to take part in the research of RPC-220 instances. The goal is to utilize the information gathered during the observation into developing a fully functional ultra-high temperature fusion reactor. It is estimated that New Corp's new fusion reactor will be ready for production in 2021. 